Hi there, welcome back. In the last three lectures, we learned about endpoint analytics. Now, it's time for us to learn about advanced endpoint analytics. So, you might be, you know, have a question. Uh, we were already in the endpoint analytics and why we are going to learn ad advanced endpoint analytics. Yes, my friends. So, this lecture is going to focus on advanced topics or advanced features that comes up with your endpoint analytics there are three features are available okay before we jump into these three features that we want to use you need to know about the pre-requirements so when we talk about the pre-requirements for advanced endpoint analytics the first one would be the licensing so let me show you the licensing model so in the recent changes in 2023 mid of the year microsoft come up with a different plans even for the intune licensing so with the intune licensing you have three different plans are available so one is a standalone add-on which will give you additional features like uh, endpoint privilege management and remote help and if you are looking for the plan to the other three more features will be uh, offered with the Intune plan to however to use the advanced endpoint analytics you need to use the pre-requirement as the Intune suite is required to be added so these are the additional licensing that are available within Microsoft Intune portal so if you just navigate from the tenant administration you would be able to see Intune add-on so this is where these plans are available and you could you know avail a free trial or a purchase program so that additional features can be available so i'm going to show you without the licenses as well as the with the licenses so that you can you know a little differentiate without within this section so now at least you know that you know what we are talking is we are talking about the advanced endpoint analytics not the uh, endpoint analytics so within the advanced endpoint analytics you have a three additional features are available so first one would be the custom device scoping so what exactly this is with with this feature you have something called a device stacking so what happens with the device stacking is you could slice your endpoint analytics uh, related scoring and insights using this device stacking let's say you might have a head office example or a business unit called a contoso example so that entire business contoso can have something called a device stack and wherever you are trying to get the insights or the scoring for that entire business unit it can be applied based on the device stacks that we can offer let me show you from where you could actually add this so if you just go to a uh, reports and uh, report endpoint analytics so if you just click on this startup performance and you see here device scoping similarly wherever you uh, go uh, within this navigation you might have a device scoping so i'm talking about the uh, device scoping that can be viewed with specific to a specific business unit so manage device scopes and click on here and so that you can create here if you have a license so remember my friends i do not have a license at this point of time that's why i cannot create here anything otherwise you have an option to create your custom device scoping which we would be doing in the uh, next lectures but at this point of time yes uh, you don't have an option otherwise you could you know create here a different device scopes and then later point you can slice your reports like a startup performance or model performance or whatever it is you should be able to slice that reports with this simple device scoping options that's what we are talking about within the advanced endpoint analytics so this way it becomes easy for you in a reporting point of view now let's understand the next point that is anomaly detection so what it is is it actually have a different mechanism to detect as the name suggested but let's understand what exactly uh, anomaly detection so anomaly detection will be helpful for your user point of view let's say if an application is getting crashed it will give you the root cause of why it is getting crashed so all that information it can easily uh, give you let me take it to the next level of uh, splitting this 
information for you too so that you could easily understand what I'm trying to talk if you see here in this specific slide I could click on anomalies and it would automatically gives me the affected devices uh, that is a three different affected devices where five percent of the devices has or had an application crash or hung within 48 hours so this way if a user is facing some kind of you know application crash or hung it will report to you so now this time if you you know think from a proactively proactively or reactive method instead of user reporting to your help desk the tool itself it reports to you and not only that if you look at an additional way it gives you what is that application if you just you know click on that application it will give you the application name that is actually causing and the possible cause also it will give you so how the possible cause and how it is detects is it is based on couple of detection methods so let me explain that so how it's going to detect is it has a feature called threshold based hysteric model so what it means is it actually involves setting up one or more threshold values for an application hashtags and crashes or a stop error or a restarts occurs automatically if that application crashes so and then it would immediately flags that uh, mechanism or on that specific device as a anonymous if there is a breach in the one of the threshold that we just talked about like based on the hash value or application gets crash it simply puts that uh, method so there is additional method that is called the paid test models so paid uh, tested uh, that is a t test model we call it okay so this t test or mathematical method that accompanies um, pays observation in the data set for looking for statistically significant distance between their means uh, like it tests are used on the data sets uh, that consist of observation related to the each other in some way for example uh, if i talk about the count of some uh, kind of you know stop restart occur the same device before and after policies change how it is behaving right so you could you know get some kind of you know, app crash on the device after the operating system update maybe uh, like you know before and after that can be a something called a paid t-test model now when we talk about the uh, popularization z score model z score based on a statistical models involving calculating the standard deviation and means of data set and then using those values to determine which data points are anonymous and uh, this z score is going to represent each data point which is going to represent number of standard deviations away from means for example the outside of certain range that's going to happen it would be you know reporting based on the uh, defined baselines now it's time uh, for another score that is the fourth and the last one would be the time series so z score model again it's going to evaluate based on the time variations the time data is going to represent a sequence of the data points that are calculated at a regular intervals over time and uh, such as the aggregation of a stop error restarts when it is happening how many times it's happening at what time it's going to happen these are the aggregated metrics would be you know uh, calculated and it would give you that uh, model to be a sensitive to uh, temporal patterns in the data and adapt the changes in the distribution over time so these are the models that we have total four different models which would be used in terms of the anomaly detections by using these models it helps you to detect what kind of stop error is coming up what kind of error end user is facing so that you could take an action from the console directly by creating a remediation powershell scripts if really needed and you can push it from intune
let's let the last option that is available within the advanced endpoint analytics called enhanced device timing so within this as the name suggested enhanced device timeline it's going to show you a device specific timeline uh, within a timeline tab so that you could investigate issues with a device level event history complete history you could you know uh, look into it and also you could also apply uh, filters to choose the level of that events that to be you know appear on the device timeline based in a real world uh, scenarios it sometimes it might be a within 24 hours timeline microsoft is working on that even details more in the uh, upcoming days but at this point of time that's a 24 hours is the event details or not able to upload from the client right away uh, so there could be some kind of you know, latency uh, that you need to you know adjust so let me show you uh, enhanced device timeline how it looks like device timeline is the option uh, that would be available only for the Intune suit license tenants right so we know that these three of the features only available with the license right it means that uh, before I actually show you the PowerPoint slide, let me show you the without the license. So if you see here, without having the Intune suit license, I will have here application reliability. This entire navigation gets replaced by device timeline. If you have the license available as the Intune suit. Okay, before, uh, since you know this uh, at least this option now let's actually talk about the device timeline you could see here uh, if you just you know click on the one of the device timeline you could see at what time the errors were happened for example app crash the red color and some of the informations that are happening for the application specific and the boot time uh, all this categorized information can be viewed with the help of the enhanced device timeline options I hope you understand the at least the basics at this point of time and there's a difference between endpoint analytics and advanced endpoint analytics and we learn within this lecture about the advanced endpoint analytics uh, which has a three different features and we talked about the device scoping which can be sliced everywhere within the into navigation point to slice that device tag based reports like insights scores and the baselines can be viewed uh, similarly uh, you also have additional feature anomaly detection that's going to identify the issues that's going to happen on your end user point of view and this is this has a different mechanism to report uh, before the issues that are going to happen on the end user point of view or end user to report or to your service now or to your ticket system you could actually have a look on it and also there's additional one would be the enhanced device timeline that's going to talk about the historical uh, timeline about the in events and the errors or the crashes that's going to happen on your machine you could you know uh, look at from an end user point of view and the bonus within this lecture would be you could even integrate your service now with a connector to automatically correlate all these errors including that error specific a service ticket also can be viewed directly within the Intune console you do have that kind of you know, options which is going to come up in the upcoming uh, releases of Intune but at this point of time that integration I'm not going to talk about it but these integrations are available for a few of the tenants Thank you for watching this. I'll catch you in the next lecture with the demos.